First tonight, the search for a suspect continues in Johnston after an attempted child abduction yesterday. It was at Johnston Memorial Park, according to police. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Sheena Loshudo. 12 News reporter Lauren Burl spoke with some parents who are just nervous after this. She joins us now with more. Well, parents that I spoke with at Johnston Memorial Park are shaken up by this incident. Many of them live in the area and frequent this park. They tell me they're using this as a learning experience for their children. A frightening situation at a place where kids are supposed to feel safe. We, we expect certain places to be safe for our, our children, and we only have so many of those places left. According to Johnston Police, an eight-year-old was sitting on a bench here at Johnston Memorial Park where she was attending a summer camp. Then a man reportedly approached her, pulling a small brown bottle and a cloth from a crossbody bag. Police say the suspect allegedly wet the cloth with the substance in the bottle, telling the child to come here. The child alerted her camp counselors and the suspect ran away last seen heading towards Atwood Avenue. Mark Ward has two young children and lives in Johnston worried that man is still out there. My son has autism and uh, it, it's hard to find places that are safe for him uh, just environmentally. So to know that we have that other obstacle is is it's scary. You know, um, my son can't speak. He can't say uh, stranger danger. So it poses a, a special problem for us. So we definitely take this to heart. Sarah frequents this park with her two children. She's prepared her kids to know what to do if this happens to them. She tells me they never leave the house without their smartwatch. Like a great technology where they can call the 911 directly. Um, I have a GPS tracking where I can like track them wherever they go. They can call me and my husband. Now an investigation is underway. Johnston police say the suspect is about six feet tall and appears to be in his late 20s or early 30s with olive toned skin and black hair. He was reportedly wearing a white or gray tank top and black red shorts. Johnston police tell me that no arrests have been made. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. In Johnston, Lauren Brill, 12 News.